The town of Natonin in Mountain Province has been placed under a state of calamity after Typhoon Rosita unleashed heavy rains that caused landslides in the area. Rescuers are racing against time to look for more survivors at the DPWH building that was buried in mud during the height of the typhoon. Marlene Alcaide has the rest of the details. A couple of days after Typhoon Rosita has battered northern Luzon, the town of Natonin in Mountain Province remains isolated. Getting here is challenging after landslides blocked roads leading to the municipality. Everywhere you look, you're reminded of the wrath of Typhoon Rosita. Residents and rescuers have to walk up to six hours to reach the town. More bad news, the DPWH warns it might take some time before they can clear roads due to the thick mud and the sheer number of landslides. Rescuers have also brought in canine units to help in the retrieval operations at the DPWH building that was buried by mud at the height of Rosita's Furry. Rescuers were able to retrieve one body on Thursday. We hope for miracles, but uh, as of this date, uh, it is uh, less uh, negative ang chances na may nabuhay pa. Families of those who were trapped in the building also braved the mud and debris to personally wait for updates on their missing relatives. The Manges family, however, was greeted by tragic news. Diyan po ang inumulan na daw sa kahapon, pero ngayon wala pa daw sa uhuru. Masakit po mama, parang gustong gustong po naman, pero wala tayong magawa kasi gamit sa tayo ng daan. So far, rescuers have recovered at least eight bodies from the site. Two people have been rescued, while rescuers are still looking for at least 19 missing persons. Natonin is under a state of calamity. The problem is, the town's emergency fund is almost depleted after the LGU had to spend the budget on helping residents that were also affected by Typhoon Ompong back in September. I appeal to the national government if there is any assistance especially because I just opened up ang sabi ko lahat ng mga stores. You just uh, release any food for those who are going to have uh, the search and rescue operations and we will just make some uh, computations uh, later. The entire mountain province had to declare a state of calamity back in September after Ampong damaged more than 700 million pesos worth of agriculture products and infrastructures alone. For News 5, Marlene Alcaide, We Are One News.